Good evening, fellow trainers. Welcome back. I know it's been a while since I've been on. Hopefully, I'll start to come out with more frequent videos. But today, I have Chalk and Cray. This is not sponsored, not affiliated. But I really love getting these every month. It's like a little box of happiness. This one is like super kawaii, it's super cute. Let's see what we get inside today. Look, I was smart. I brought the scissors. When do I ever remember to bring scissors? If you look my old, my old videos, you'll know the answer to that question is almost never. Bop, bop, I'm not gonna peek. But it's so cute. Okay. This is what they give you every single month. They give you a little cheat sheet of everything that you get inside. Also, which other cute stuff. So it shows you the mini original and the premium crate. The stuff that you get in every single thing. It also tells you different things that are going on in Japan right now. And I'm going to keep this because I'm not sure what something is. And I'm sure I can, pretty sure I can figure it out. So... This is gum. This is gum. I like to save all the gum for the last. And as you know, I'm not the biggest fan of Japanese gum. It's the texture of the piece of gum. We'll save that for last. I'm just not a fan. Okay. Let me see what this is. So I'm not going to cheat. I'm going to be good. Okay. It's like a little... A little ramune. Let's see what is it actually. See was actually ramune flavored, or is it? Let's see if I can kind of show you. Kind of can't. Maybe. Nope. Okay. Oh wow, that's really surprising. It is ramune flavored. And there's little pellets inside here. I'm really going to see the little white pellets. Yeah, I'm not possible to show you, but they melt instantly on your tongue. It melts away, leaving you with a slightly sour marmalade flavor. These are really nice. I shall rate them about a 6 out of 10. Okay. Next, we have this thing here. I'm not sure what this is. Looks like it could be chocolatey, which I'm all for. I'm a lover of chocolate. Oh, yeah, it looks... It smells very chocolatey. So, yeah, it's chocolate. Those are chocolate and corn, maybe? Hmm. I'm an idiot. I hear this crispy chocolate on it. It's definitely chocolate. Mmm. Okay, I cheated on the cheat sheet. It's puffed rice. Mmm. <laughs> Sorry, I saw this and I had to go for it. It's Coca-Cola apple flavored. I'm gonna try a sip. Plain without ice, but we're not gonna get. Oh, did you hear that pop? Woo! Mmm. Oh, that is phenomenal. Japanese sodas. I haven't had a bad one yet in these Japan crates. I've not had a bad drink yet. Mm. Actually, it's cold enough from being outside. It doesn't really need any ice. I'll put that there because it's like a palate cleanser for something. That's really nice. Okay. What's next? Oh, this looks cute. Looks like a little waffle cookie. Maybe with maple syrup or chocolate on it. Let's find out. Okay, it kind of got broken. It was definitely chocolate. Mmm. It's 
very light, crispy, buttery. Chocolate is lightly sweet. This would be amazing to dunk like into tea. It's all kind of crumbled and broken, so I can't really do that with mine. Mine's the packaging, the um, travel is really hard on these. Okay, I'm just gonna make sure that this isn't gum, and that's all I'm gonna read about it. I can't even find this. Oh, here it is. Okay, no, it's just a candy. Okay, so it's a hard, it's a hard candy. And the color, as it changes, changes the different flavors. Let me see. So it starts off with this hard candy. It's not chocolate, it's hard candy. It's going to take a long time for Jawbreaker to get through. It's almost exactly like a Jawbreaker. So I'm going to comment on the cola flavor. And I'll put this one to the side. It's going to take forever to get through the hard candy. So, it's very cola flavor. If you're familiar with Japanese cola flavor, it's like regular Coke. This is apple Coke. And the Coke flavor itself is very sweet on with those cola flavored things. I happen to really like them. So if I had more time, like not on camera, I would really enjoy that. So I'm going to give that about a 7 on 10. Okay. No okay. peeking. I think I know what this is. Oh, I'm right. Okay. So in Japan, these are really popular. This one's kind of, once again, broken. So it's like this corn puffed thing. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. These are insanely popular in Japan. And they come in all kinds of like all kinds of crazy flavors. And there's some of them they're so corny. Like the corn flavor really comes through. Imagine kind of like a sweet Cheeto. Like a sweet chocolatey Cheeto. But you can still taste the corniness. I am in love with this. This is a 10. One thing again, unfortunately, it crumbled. But I mean, I had you all in Japan to hear, so sometimes things happen. I'm willing to forgive a little bit of crumbling. Oh, this is so, just so delicious. Oh. I didn't put it before. It's an obvious 10 out of 10. It's apple flavored soda. What else do you need in life? Okay. Oh, is this more gum? Is this more gum? Okay, no, but okay. It's a chewy candy. This I can eat quickly without having to worry. And it looks like there's like ice cream on there, or it's supposed, it's supposed to taste like the soda. Ooh, it's sour. I was not expecting that. Woo! Okay, that's very sour. Mm -mm. Oh, it's so sour. Mm. I need some sweetness. Holy crap. Okay. So it has like some super sour powder on there. I'm going to get through there. This is super chewy gummy. Like really it's so chewy. Like once you get through the sour, 
It's actually really nice. I don't think it'll be forever. Get through that, so I'll put that to the side. We'll eat it later. Okay, next thing. I see this in here. This looks very interesting. Is this like a jelly bear? A jelly is like jello. Or like a gummy bear. In Japan. Okay, let's open this. If not, I will have to get the scissors. Here's the part. I'm supposed to actually open it. Here we go. Hopefully, I won't have to fight this. Ha ha! Victory! Oh, well. Like, I only kind of only got half of his face. Like, only half of his face gummified. You see, that side's like kind of. I'm sad. But anyway. Mmm. Mmm. I love grape flavored things in Japan. Okay, there's grape flavored. A Japanese grape flavored. I love. Like the American grape flavor. It's not my favorite. I'm not sure what this looks what this is supposed to be. It looks almost like he's making a marinara. Oh, this is actually a candy kit. Oh my god, I was not prepared for this. Hold on, I gotta let me read the let me read the instructions. So she says Japan loves their jelly. Whip up a jelly concoction of your own with this fun DIY. Using a small cup, mixing straw and powder. Okay, I'm gonna have to get I was not prepared for this, y'all. I need water. I'm going to measure. <gasps> Look at that tiny straw. I'm keeping this little straw, by the way. And no one can tell me not to. That little straw is so cute. I love so this cup. This powder. And then this thing. Okay, so it says you're supposed to... There, there is no line, y'all. It says you're supposed to fill it up. Some the line, but... So I'm just going to kind of wing it a bit. I'm going to close up with the water and I'm going to return. So we're back. Maybe doing this horribly wrong. Maybe way too much water. But we're going to try and see if this is how much water it needs. So there is no line. So we're just going to kind of experiment. Let me drink a little bit of that water. Need more. I'll just add more water. You can always add more water and you can't really take water away once you add the, the powder. Okay. Oh no, there's a little straw. And then you lift and you mix. Oh, so I'm trying to mix it in. Okay. Okay, that looks about right. And then you just drink it. Okay. I mean, it tastes really good. Hmm. I feel like a drink from a jelly. I think about too much water. But the flavor was really good. It comes this adorable tiny straw. So that's really cool. And the flavor was a 10 out of 10. The flavor on this was absolutely delicious. It was sweet. Melanie, grapey, and I said on that one, I really enjoyed that one. Mm. Sorry, I was not prepared for there to be a DIY where I had to actually follow instructions. Ooh, what's this? It's a tiny little thing. Oh, it's got a hard candy. I'm gonna lazily nom and then put it back.
Okay. This is an apple with hard candy. What? What's with all the hard candy that I can't really eat on camera very well? Well, let's continue on. This is another hard candy. Oh my goodness. Okay, um, these are energy grapefruit flavored hard candy. And apparently they're salty. Oh, they smell salty. I am slightly scared. Like, you can smell them and they smell salty. Like, I'm scared. Oh, it's like a tablet. Okay. It's not like a hard candy. It's more like a... Okay. Pray for me. Okay. These are actually nice. Mm. Okay. They're like chewy tablets. When you get into salt, they are. Woo! They are quite salty. But the grapefruit flavor kind of helps mask that. These are supposed to be energy tablets with salty grapefruit candies. Salt. Okay, so these are apparently good for you after you've been like working out or to help get your energy back up, which I clearly never do. But those might be nice to keep in my little work apron and have for after work snack. Look at how cute these are. Okay, I'm living for this packaging. Absolutely, absolutely living this packaging. These are, I think, cheesecake flavored koalas that are marching. These are super cute. I love them. I don't know why, but they give you this really cute little tab thingy. It's cute. Put that there. And then. Mm, boop. Another packaging inside with more little koalas on them. An actual really sad fact is that koalas are pretty much extinct in the wild. And they're pretty much only really in use now, which does kind of make me sad. But, you know, there are some zoos that are trying to bring them back into the wild and they're sending oh well there goes that packaging y'all let me just grab one and what's so cool is the koalas they all have the super adorable prints on them mm. okay nom mm. you see it's like little bites of cheesecake. It's a little buttery, soft, graham crackery, almost kind of cookie. Just sweet, delicious. Cheesecake filling. Mm. I'm just trying to get like a cross section for y'all. Mm. Kind of. Sort of fail, but. You can kind of sort of see the creamy filling on the inside. These are an easy 10 out of 10. I never that easy. Any day of the week. Yum. If you like cheesecake. If you don't like cheesecake, a little wrong with you, but that's another particular day. Then you won't like them. Okay. Can you have one of these? Like, I this in the last box. 
it's just a lollipop that you dip in powder and then you look at. I'm not going to open this because then it would kind of go to waste because I'm not the only way to store this. So just trust me, great for the lollipop that you dip in it kind of at least sweet, at least sour. It's like fun dip, y'all. A red fun dip is exactly what this is like, but different flavor. Okay, what, what, ooh, what the, ooh, what the heck? I don't know what it is, but it, A, super cute packaging, B, look at that deliciousness. Okay, here, fridge, fridge. Okay, so let's take a little, little chocolate bars. Let me see what's inside. Can we open up? Yes, I can. So it looks like from American Standard, kind of like a baby roof. But it's not. It's like a Twix. With. Is it like a peanut or something? It's like a chocolate Twix without the caramel. So the, so the cookie inside is chocolatey and it's covered in chocolate. Mm. That wasn't a peanut because it was crunchy all the way through. I'm not quite sure what that was. But I love it so much. Mm. This is my like like chocolate Twix without the caramel and you have it like straight in one. That's exactly what these are like. Can I get a full bag of them? Happy, happy Alex noises. They had an angry bear in the packaging only a present. I live. There's only two things left in the box. A sweet thing and a savory thing. After just having sweet, I'm gonna go for the savory thing. And it looks like a chip. Why do I always have such problem with these packages? Open. Nope. Like on the front, Ace has Entomol, Blue Cheese, Clambert, and Cheddar. So it is a picture of a pizza on the bag with like hunks of cheese on it. And they're supposed to be like some extremely, extremely cheesy chips. Oh, and they smell very cheesy. Like you can see they have hunks of cheese on them. Wow. They remind me of Ruffles sour cream and cheddar chips. But they're even crisper. These are very good. It was about a nine. Perfectly salty. Perfectly crunchy, and then you want a snack. So now we're down to the last thing, and it's actually the bonus item in this pack. Is when you get the premium, you get one major bonus item. Okay. Yep. Oh yeah. So these are chestnut flavored Kit Kat. My best friend Holly is from England, and she is me absolutely addicted to anything chestnut. Ooh, they smell like chestnuts. If you've never had a chestnut before, you have not lived. So what you do is you take the chestnut, and you do a splice down the middle so they don't explode, and you pop them into the oven until you hear light popping, so they slightly exploded. Then you peel them while they're still warm and you eat them. 
This is all the fun of chestnuts without any of the work. Just peeling those things is not easy. Mm. Okay. Second favorite, it was tied for first favorite thing in the whole box this month. The Coca Cola apple and this tied for first. Easy, hands down. No problem. Mm. I cannot say y'all uh, enough for these. It's actually what a chestnut I know, looks like. You make a good cut, like, right there. They don't explode. I think all we have left is this really long piece of gum. And this really tiny piece of Mario gum. I think y'all have seen me eat gum enough on this channel. But it's not my favorite. So I'm not going to do it again. And thank you all so much for taking the time today. Watch this video. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. Keep loving Pokemon. Keep being you. See y'all later. Bye.